I'm sure you understand what's going on with these things when I put in one of those. Somebody shout out what that is. In fact, all shout out what that is. Shout! I need to shout. <laughs> Is that the half diminished yeah. on B flat? Yes, excellent. Benjamin, let me stop you here. That was really nice. Sometimes I'm missing a little bit uh, your basses. I think it's nice to hear your pinky and your left hand a little bit more. And also be careful with uh, the synchronizations. Sometimes it's nice to not play them exactly together, but if it happens too often, you know, it sort of uh, loses its precision. So let's do it one last time and then let's move on. Don't do it faster for now. Deep frown and a shoulder, right shoulder, up here, representative of the sound you made there. Because if I, if I have that expression and that sort of physical aspect, I feel like I, I'm struggling to say something. When we talk, we make facial expressions. Absolutely, so absolutely. if I'm trying to say something. If you start speaking and suddenly you make a face, facial expression that doesn't match what you're saying, it's, it's confusing for... It's very confusing. It's very confusing. It's part of the communication process. Yeah. Could you do the same again? And he's going to do it one way. We don't know if it's going to be frowny way or non-frowny way. Close your eyes, everybody. <laughs> so there's no visual sort of cue here. Go. Alexander, it's finished. You can open it now. <laughs> Maybe frowned. Maybe frowned. Liam says yes. I think so, yeah. But when he demonstrated the frown one with our eyes open, I saw nothing coming out of this piano that suggested that was happening. All I got was a visual cue that said some sort of torment, some sort of darkness, some sort of worry. Mm -hmm. 